Hello everybody and welcome back to Huggy Bunnies. Today I bring you another fun craft DIY tutorial and also if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe down below so you don't miss another crafty tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to make a donut pillow. So what inspired me to make this is when I was out the other day um, at the theme park, you know on like them stores where you can win um, things, they had donut pillows and I thought you know what, I'm going to go make my own one. So I bring to you today this awesome tutorial how you can make your own lovely donut pillow. So I hope you enjoy and please do like and comment down below any other fun DIYs you'd like to see me do. So let's roll on to the video. Okay so the materials you're going to need are a pair of scissors, some sort of marker, I'm using a sharpie, some pins, you're also going to need some string of some sort. You're going to want a hot glue gun or a sewing machine, sewing, apply, sewing supplies, um, random colour scraps of felt, and then fleece. So this fleece was an off-cut one, so I got it super cheap. So I suggest you do that instead of buying fleece, because I know it's really expensive. And then this one was actually from a blanket, so you could also do that to get your fleece cheaper. So, you're going to start off by tying a knot around your pen with your string and you're going to want to measure your string to the size that you want your donut to be and that's totally up to you. You can do whatever you want, how big or small you like it. Just don't forget about seam allowance. So then you're going to find the centre of your material by folding it into four and marking it and then draw a big circle, well like dots all the way around and then you're going to go ahead and join them up like I'm doing now and that's going to make the outside ring for your donut. Now again take that string but this time make sure you've made it shorter and I'm just doing that by holding it shorter and drawing a circle in the middle for our donut. Now don't worry if your donut kind of turns out lopsided because donuts aren't perfect. And now just go ahead and cut that out and make sure you leave that seam allowance so I've just left about a centimetre around the edge when cutting it. So now you're going to want to get your other piece of fabric, which is the same colour as the first one, and you're just going to head, go ahead, lay that on top, and draw around it. I prefer doing it this way because then you get two pieces that are identical, whether, like, rather than drawing out again the same method, you might not land up with the same size pieces, and that wouldn't be very good. So go cut that one out, and now what you're going to want to do is lay it on your yellow fleece, and then draw around the whole donut on the ring, and the outside like so and now you're going to take your pen and draw some sort of like icing design it's totally up to you how you do it I've just the point of drawing the um, ring around the outside is to give you a guidance as to how big to make your icing so just sort of do a wavy pattern go however you want it's totally up to you I'm just doing this sort of wavy basic pattern going all the way around your donut so just keep going and then once you've done that you're just going to go ahead and cut out the middle ring and your icing pattern so next you're going to want to take your pieces and you're going to want to have your icing also lined up and you're going to pin all the way around the edge and you're going to either glue or sew around the edge. Now I show you here gluing but I'm actually going to sew all the way around so I want this to be really sturdy but gluing is totally fine as well just remember to do a bit at a time because the glue dries fast. And now that's what it should look like so what we're going to do is clipping and what that is you just do tiny snips but don't go into your sewing or where you've glued just on the outside and that'll stop you getting puckers in your fabric and it'll be nice and smooth. So now turn it inside out and take your yellow icing out and turn it back the wrong way around again and we're going to go ahead and sew up the middle so as you can see you can see all my clipping that I've done as well around the edges so get it laid out nice and flat and all lined up again and what you're going to do is cut through your stitching or gluing to the centre and then you're going to want to sew all or glue all the way around the inside ring as well and then you're going to unpin all of that and we're going to go and do a, the same thing again we're going to clip all the way around the inside but be very very careful not to cut through your stitching or your gluing because you will land up with a hole and that is not good at all you don't want to do that so be very careful as you can see I'm taking tiny little snips 
Now you're going to go ahead and turn it inside out and this can be a bit tricky so you might want to use the end of a wooden spoon or something to help you if your donut is a bit smaller or thinner and you're just going to keep turning it inside out until you get it all the way around and your two ends should nicely meet together in a nice ring shape. Now as you'll see mine is very lopsided and I've got one side that's wider than the other which is really clear but don't worry you'll see it all turns out fine in the end it does not matter if it's lopsided. As you can see I have that one wider side but who cares it's a donut. So now you're going to go ahead and take your polyester fibre fill and mine is from my local craft store and you're just going to head and stuff 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 and you can stuff it very firm I like to stuff my plushies firm but some people like them softer so just stuff it to your liking and then we'll go on to the next step and what you're going to do is either you're going to get your glue gun and glue around them edges together or you can use a ladder stitch which is what I did and sew it up so that's what it should look like don't worry about the seam because our icing will cover it so now just lay your icing over, be very careful when laying it over because you want to make sure you choose the longest point on your icing to cover that seam as you can see. Now you can't see it. So then what you're going to do is take your glue gun, I didn't sew this, I glued it because it's so much easier, and just glue all the way around the edges with it, like so. We're just going to go glue around and then glue in the centre. Now take all your random coloured scraps of felt, or you can use beads, you can use whatever you would like. I just use felt because I have a load of scraps of felt left over and it's the perfect way to use them all. So just cut them into tiny little strips, squares, triangles, hearts, whatever you would like. It is totally up to you. I just went for a basic sprinkle kind of look. And just chop them up in loads of colours and then use your glue gun to go ahead and stick them on. Like so. And there you have it, your donut pillow is finished. So I hope you did enjoy this DIY and don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. See you soon.